Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Flight Simulator. And before we begin, I want to apologize for the bad quality of the audio in the previous couple episodes here. I didn't realize it was as bad as it was, I knew it wasn't the best, uh, but I didn't realize it was quite that bad, and at that point it was too late to, you know, re-record them. But... What I have done is fixed the uh, way I am actually <laughs> recording audio, and from now on it should be a lot better, and you should get both the audio from the game and from the commentator, me. So, let's get right into it. For today's goal, we are going to be launching a space telescope into the, well, black void of space. And... As always, we're going to start by building our payload. So, what we want to do is we want to grab, we'll grab a couple of these, because we need two of them. We need one for the rocket and one for the actual payload itself. So we're going to mount the first one here, and then we're going to move to electrical. Now, I like putting batteries on this thing, because I think that Batteries are a good addition. Um, if you're playing on the vanilla game, you should have these batteries. However, you will not have this engine here, the electric thruster, or the giant solar panels. So if you're playing on the vanilla game, instead of the little thruster here, go ahead and use, if we go back to the basic, the docking port. The small docking port looks similar. It gives you a similar effect. I want the ex little extra that it gives to have the uh, engine there. And you can just use some small solar panels too. Um, so we're going to put a fuel tank on here. If I put it in the right place that would be good. We're going to put the the solar panels around the ship. Something like this, or, or not around the ship, but around the uh, satellite here. There we go, put a couple RCS thrusters on it, that way we have control over it better. I mean, at this stage, we probably won't be using the RCS thrusters too much. But it's better to have them there. Now, for the telescope bit of this, I'm going to use a control module, because it sort of looks the part. And then I'm going to be grabbing this big docking part port and just stick it on the bottom here. So there is our telescope. Next, we want to start closing this thing in. So the first thing we're going to do is set a separator down here and then go to our aerodynamic. Um, so I'm going to leave a space, just one space here, with the between the separator and the actual rocket. And that's going to make sure that nothing sticks when I launch this thing. And then we can just grab our fairings. And I think if you're playing it vanilla here, you'll have enough of the fairings to do this. But you may not. So <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to do this. Hmm... I don't like how that steps, so I think I'm going to do this, yeah. And then I can just go right down just like that, and there's a nice, neat fairing. Awesome. So now for the rocket here. We're going to launch it. It's going to be a couple different stages. So we're going to bring one... 20 ton fuel tank, and then we're going to bring the broadsword. That's going to be our maneuver stage in space. We're going to add another 20 ton fuel tank and the hawk this time. That's going to be our second stage for launching. And then we're going to put a couple side thrusters here. And then we're going to do some big boosters here. And we're going to call this the first stage. So just like this. Boom. So here's my rocket all ready to go. Let's hit launch. It's saying we need a parachute, but where we're, we're going, we don't need a parachute. We don't care. We're not coming back here. We're going to start both of the thrusters on our boosters and launch. We have liftoff. 
it is successful. Now we're going to do the normal thing. We're going to go to about 2000 meters and then rotate ourselves to 45 degrees. And then after that, we're going to make our way onto the map screen. So we're almost there. We're at about 15 and we can start turning right about now. There's 2000. Now we're going about 45 degrees and the map screen. Actually, uh, the way I measure approximately 45 degrees is I take the, the center of the rocket and try to rotate the thruster to the center of the rocket and then line it up between the two buttons on the screen. So if you're wondering, that's how I try to get 45 degrees here. And I mean, it's probably not exact, but I'm, I'm betting it's pretty close. Uh, so we want a high, high Earth or orbit here. We're probably going to go 250 to 500. So we're going to start at just 35, and that should clear us from this other satellite that's flying around. I don't, th didn't think that it was uh, going to be getting into into our like working area, but you never know. It's always good to check, even though I didn't. Uh, we're going to rotate ourselves to roughly perpendicular to the planet. And we're going to boost with the remainder of our boosters, as well as our second stage, to actually start circularizing ourselves. So let's boost. There we go. We'll run out of fuel real quick, but that's okay. Once we run out, we separate both of the boosters, hit the second stage, hit the fairing, and now we're ready to go. So we're going to go really flat here to try and maximize uh, the sideways velocity that we're getting around the planet. We're creeping up on our apoapsis, but that's okay. Um, once we use up the second stage and begin to burn with the third stage here, our final stage, we're going to want to be very careful that we don't pass our apoapsis here. So we're actually coming up on that. We'll switch back. We'll zoom in. There it is. Boom. All right. So now that we're here, see how we're creeping on the apoapsis? Let's burn just a hair radial out. And we can follow ourselves. Remember, if we click on the rocket and click follow, and that'll make it really, really easy to actually keep an eye on the apoapsis, keep an eye on what's going on around us. So we're almost there. Now we've got about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds left of burning, and then we will be circularized. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to burn straight from circularization to the um, final orbit. So we're not going to stop like normal and actually go through and try to adjust the apoapsis so it's a nice perfect orbit. Not at this point. We're just going to keep burning. We're going to keep making sure that we're prograde. We don't want to be burning radial at all here because that's just going to rotate the apoapsis around the planet. And do we want to stop? No, let's go for 500. Go bigger. Go home. We're going to go for 500 kilometers here. And once we get to like 450, we're probably going to want to slow down our thrusting here. There we go. So we'll go down to 21, and then we're going to slowly lower our throttle as we get closer. There we are, down to like 1%, 0.1%, something like that. There we go. There's exactly 500 kilometers. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to speed up time, accelerate through time, and we're going to wait till we get very close to our apoapsis. So right, right about, right about here. There we go. That's pretty good. Now we can rotate ourselves prograde again. What we're going to do is we're going to burn slightly, very, very slightly radial in. And then we will hit the thrust. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, actually raise our apoapsis a little bit. But not too much. That's, we're actually not close enough to the apoapsis. See how, you saw how fast it was raising. 
that's not right. We want to be a little closer because that way, there we go, it'll either raise or lower the apoapsis very, very slowly if we burn. Oh, and there we are. We are just about circularized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower, lower my throttle all the way again, and we're going to use that to get ourselves to just barely 500, actually 500.1, then we can turn around here, we can go to like 0.1% throttle, boom, and hit our periapsis exactly at 500 kilometers. Now we're going to rotate ourselves um, to roughly what our retrograde would be at the periapsis. We're going to accelerate through time to the periapsis. There we go. We can slow down again. And this one, we actually do want to be right on the periapsis. So like right, right there is probably good. And then we want to watch our apoapsis. And we're going to go to like 1% thrust here, somewhere around 1, maybe like 0.5. That's still a little too fast. All right. So we can just accelerate till we're at the periapsis again. There we go. Thrust a little more. All right, and repeat. Make sure to rotate yourself so you're not radial in either direction too much. You want to be perfectly prograde here, so you're transferring most of your energy into the rotational or the speed around the Earth. That way, you know when you when you actually burn here, it's not moving you; it's just killing your sideways momentum. All right, we're going to wait until we're just a hair past the periapsis on this last one. So like right about there, and then we can burn real slow at like 0.1. Boom, 500 by 500. So now we can come here to the rocket, and we're going to go and separate the final stage from the rocket. Boom. All right, so... Let's put ourselves up to full throttle. Let's rotate uh, to radial in. And then we're going to hit our booster. And that's going to put us out of the flight path of the satellite. We can rotate retrograde and then just hit the thruster. There we go. And what that's going to do is lower our periapsis now. Boom, that's perfect right there. So this rocket will crash harmlessly into the ocean. We will switch over to our... Why did that throw... Oh, I know why. Because I, I So if you're following a rocket, right, and you switch to another rocket, it actually uh, will throw your view out into space somewhere. And I, I think it has to do with how you're following the rocket. So be aware of that if you're you know, switching rockets and suddenly you're out in the middle of nowhere. We're going to open our solar panels, check, make sure our uh, orbit is perfectly cir circular. I don't know why that was such a hard word to say, circular. And then we can point towards the planet, and we're done right here. There's the rocket. There's the satellite. And we're in a nice orbit. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira. And this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Flight Simulator. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.